Welcome to this Q&A. We have some people here having some meetings with customers. I hope you don't mind. Uh, today we will discuss and evaluate uh, different options how to increase the press capacity when you produce particle board and OSB. Marcus, what are the alternatives? If you want to increase the capacity in your press line, there are mainly two options that you can choose. One is to make a press extension, which is normally a very costly and time-consuming thing. Second way is to to increase mat temperature before the press. Mm. So with the first option, of course, with a longer press, you can run it faster mm. and maintain the time in the press. Mm. And if you increase the, the fiber mat temperature, it will go into the press with a higher temperature mm. and thereby it needs a shorter time inside the press and you can also run it faster. Mm. On the market today, there are two main ways of increasing the mat temperature. Mm. One is with the microwave or RF unit. And the, Second way is to use steam. Mm. We think that steam is the best, the far superior way of doing it, and we have used that for our mm. mat preheater, the press booster. The technology behind preheating the mat with steam is that you, you inject steam from the top of the fiber mat and from the bottom of, of the fiber mat to increase the temperature to 100 degrees. By doing that, you will shorten the pressing time and you will gain a capacity increase in an average of 20%. Secondly, after 70 degrees of the temperature in the fiber mat, you're starting a softening effect of the fiber. And that will result that you reduce specific pressure inside the press with about 30%. What is it to consider uh, with a mat preheating system using steam? Obviously, the, the most important thing is that it will give you the capacity increase you want. Mm. With our press booster, we can say that uh, at least 20%. Mm. And secondly, of course, you need equipment that is uh, working well with the rest of the equipment. Mm. So it, we should not create any further downtime or things like that. So we received a question from one of our customers. They have seen that we have the the highest capacity increase and they are wondering what is the reason. We are today the market leader with our press booster. We have sold about 15 units the last two years. There are two main reasons. Uh, one reason is that we have a very effective steam injection into the fiber mat reaching this 100 degrees which gives us a high value of uh, press capacity increase. We have a special design uh, and we are the only one that can actually position the press booster just in front of the press nip. Uh, so we can uh, maintain the temperature inside the mat uh, to the pressing. We got another question as well. Can this mat preheater be used in a combination with MDI resin? Mm. The MDI resin has been quite tricky mm. because it can make a very sticky fiber mat. But we have been working hard on uh, developing a, and designing the most of all the, the, the wire cleaning system. So we have a very efficient wire cleaning system today and we have a few MDF customers using our press booster together with MDI resin. Mm. So Kent, you mentioned a saving or mm. a capacity increase of 20% with the press booster. What is the return of investment for? The relative low investment of a press booster together with a capacity increase in average of 20%. That will give you a return on investment of about not more than half a year. Can you guarantee that? Marcus, any day. Then I take two. That's a deal. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe because in the next episode we will release some big news. Hasta, Hasta luego, luego in Chile. Chile. <laughs>